Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm doing your uh, you versus them reading. This is going to be uh, one reading for everyone out there. So I will be you know pulling out two cards uh, from two different decks. One is going to give us the energy of you yourself in this connection and the other is going to give the give us the energy of the other person that you are dealing with in this particular connection. So it's going to be you versus them in this connection. This is going to be for whoever needs it right now. So it's not going to resonate with everyone out there because it's just one reading for everyone out there. So just pick however it is resonating with you in your situation and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings and uh, you can also check out my uh, sister channel i will be leaving the link to her channel in the comment section so yeah let's get started i will be putting out cards on cam for sure so this is uh going to be energy of one person this is going to be the uh, energy of the other person let's start with this person's energy let's find out what is you know uh this person's energy towards this connection that you have with them uh be that you know let's find out if uh, you just pick your side of the story uh so let's see what is this person's energy uh in this connection that you have let, let this be your energy and then I will be pulling out the energy of the other person in this connection so let's see this is going to be your energy in this connection let's find out what is you feeling towards this person and towards this relationship in this connection and let's begin let's begin Eight of Wands paired up with Hangman. I know that you do have the devil. I feel like you know there is a strong uh, connection. There is a strong pull that you have with this person, but at the same time, there is a you know um, there is very little to no communication between you and this person right now, and uh, you really don't like it because you really want to have more and more communication with this person, but the situation seems like you know you are unable to have that communication with this person which is definitely not something that you desire let's take one more card the empress let's take one more six of cups yeah somebody's really missing someone because they really want to communicate but at the same time they cannot have the communication maybe for different reasons for different people let's find out what is underneath the devil do have ace of swords underneath that the king of pentacles underneath that you do have the page of swords i feel like you know whoever this person is be that your energy or energy of the person that you are dealing with uh somebody is really busy with their work it could be your own energy it could be the energy of the person that they are you are dealing with as well but having said that um i do see that you know uh there you know this person really feels drawn to you um if it is you who is being drawn to another person, but still there is no communication, I feel, you know, it's it's like, you know, very little to no communication, but you do miss each other right now. But at the same time, you are unable to have what you want with this person. There is like, you know, the Ace of Cups underneath the, underneath the Page of Swords, underneath that you do have a Three of Swords, underneath that you do have Page of Cups. Somebody really wants to make a move forward, but there is something which is stopping them from having that move forward in this connection. Um... Let's take uh, two more cards from the top of the deck. Strength, Seven of Wands, Nine of Swords, Queen of uh, Wands. Let me take one card from the middle of the deck. Whatever you desire of this connection that you have with this person, I feel like you are going to get what you want. Be that a commitment, be that a, a you know, just a, a, you know, on and off thing. Whatever it is that you're wishing and hoping from this connection with this person, I feel like you are going to get that ultimately. But right now, there is some sort of stagnation in this, uh, you know, uh, the, is in this connection. There, there are certain things which are not moving forward. Uh, and, you know, this person really... Um, Let's pull out cards for the uh, you know the other person's energy. Let's see what this you know person has for for this person in this connection. Because I feel like with the King of Pentacles here, I feel like you know uh, maybe you are thinking like you know this person is uh, busy with their work and stuff, but um, maybe you need to change that mindset to the mindset that you know this person really wants to be with you now. 
because if you do that if you stop thinking that way that's going to happen so i feel like you know let's take cards for from for the other person's energy because i feel like you know if you are thinking that this person is stuck in their work that's why they are not giving you enough time you really need to change that thought around it and then you will have what you want so stop uh telling yourself that you know this person really is going crazy to spend more and more time with you and that's going to come true so um uh, let's see what is the energy of the other person that you are dealing with right now? What is their energy in this connection? The Empress. Six of Cups. The same cards that came here. Two of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Three of Cups. Page of Cups. The World. Underneath the deck, you do have four of cups. Underneath that, you do have three, uh, two of wands, and of pentacles, six of uh, pentacles. I feel like you know you both really want this connection so bad, but there is definitely some sort of uh, delay. I feel like you know it's, it's because of uh, the work, it's because of the uh, responsibilities that one person has, and the other person doesn't have those responsibilities and work to deal with. Uh, I feel like, you know, either one of you is stuck in a situation where they have a lot of work to do, where they have a lot of responsibilities on their shoulder, whereas the other person is like, you know, uh, is, is in a situation where they don't have to do much. And um, in, in this situation, I feel like, you know, this is how it is. Like, you know, this person might be stuck in their work. Uh, they, they might be doing something very uh, crucial right now in their life when it comes to their finances and you know they, they, they have many responsibilities on their shoulder right now and having said that you both are on the same page you both want the same thing from this connection you both want the commitment you both want the love and relationship you both want the stability foundation of a stable relationship and this connection but at the same time I do feel that you know um, there is lack of uh, stability in this connection right now. You really want it to be stable. You really want it to be, you know, um, a good support system for each of you. But at the same time, things are not exactly how you want it to be. Um, let's take some more cards. Let's find out what is the mutual energy of this connection. The Hermit, the Devil, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Swords under the deck. I feel like you know you both are thinking a lot about each other. You really want that time together. There, there is a lot of passion that you have for each other as well. But somebody is really waiting for things to change. Somebody is really waiting for that change to come so they could spend that loving time with you. Or you are you know expecting that change to happen so you could spend more and more time with this person because that's what you both desire and want. Um, let's see. What is the change that you're looking for right now? I'm not going to include these cards. Okay. King of Pentacles again. Somebody is so stuck in their work. They really want to show how much interested they are into this connection. How much they really want to make this connection work. But they are unable to do so. And this is something that not just disappoints you but them as well. So I feel like, you know, whoever it is who is stuck in a situation where they are unable to make a move forward towards you or to give you what they desire and give you what you desire out of this connection. I feel like, you know, it's it's um, you really have to have patience with this connection. You really have to understand this person's, uh, you know, situation right now, because only then you will be able to have what you both desire of this connection. Because I feel like, you know, there is a mutual, uh, you know, um, hope. There is a mutual um wish that you have for this connection to flourish to become solid to become uh you know uh long term uh but at the same time there there is like you know uh one of the two has to um take the stronger you know um position in this connection because i feel like you know the other person is like um they have to deal with certain things and they really want the other person to understand them and right now if and only if you would be able to um Stay patient in this connection, in, in this situation and be a support to this person. I feel like, you know, your 
relationship is going to flourish in a way that you can never even imagine right now you both miss each other you both feel the super connection that you have for each other but at the same time there are certain things that needs to be sorted out by one person um and i feel like you know it's, it's for majority of you it's going to be the masculine energy who is unable to give what what the feminine energy is looking for in a connection because of their work because of the responsibilities because of the things that they have to deal with before they could you know uh get themselves free from certain situations so they could give you what they what you desire so you really have to be understanding towards this person um let's take some more cards with this deck let's see how this person really views you right now how the masculine energy views the feminine energy right now Four of Wands, Queen of Cups, Six of Swords, Three of Swords. I feel like you know they really, like I said, they they really want you to show support to them. At the same time, really want you to stay patient and have the hope that everything is going to fall into place. As as you know, th there could be some sort of delays in this connection, but at the same time, you really have to stay hopeful that you know. Things are going to be better between the two of you. Things are, you know, situations, I would say. Because I feel like, you know, there is nothing wrong between the two of you right now. But it's more of the situations around you guys, which is, which is you know, um, which is something that, that disappoints you and that person too. You really both are on the same page. You really want this connection. You really want this uh, love. But at the same time, um... This is something that neither they like nor you like and you really want this time to end. You are, you know, um, you both want this time to end. You are waiting and hoping for that time to come when you could take what, uh, what, you know, whatever it is that, that, uh, You both are waiting for this time to come where, where you could, uh, you know, have the balance and this connection back. Where you both are, um, able to take this relationship to the next level and letting go of whatever that was, you know, holding this connection right now. It's, it's like you both are on the same page. Whether you, whether you see it right now or you don't, there is like, you know, like I said, there is lack of communication. There is lack of understanding there because one person is free. The other person is not. And you really have to understand their position, their situation. And if you do so, I feel like, you know, you will understand that, you know, this person was, you know, if they are ignoring you, if they are not giving you enough time as you ex expect them to give you, you really have to be very understanding of their situation. And if you do, Trust me, this person is going to, uh, as soon as they get themselves free from whatever responsibility that they are taking care of right now, they will approach you with a with a proposal of a stable connection. So that's what I'm picking up coming up for you and this connection. Uh, this is your energy versus their, their you know, your energy versus their energy. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe and share. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care bye bye